Hello and welcome to the Run Testers. My name is Nick, and in this video, we're going to be comparing the ASICS Gel Nimbus 25 and the New Balance Fresh Foam X More V4. So the Gel Nimbus 25 and the New Balance More V4 are both max stack, highly cushioned trainers designed mainly to be used for your easy and long runs. They're two of the best shoes in this category, I'd say. The uh, Gel Nimbus 25 is the more expensive shoe. It costs £175 in the UK or $160 in the US, whereas the More V4 is £140 in the UK and $150 in the US. They are almost exactly the same weight in my UK size 9. The Gel Nimbus is 315 grams or 11.1 .1 ounces, whereas the New Balance Move More V4 is 316 grams, so still 11.1 one ounces. The Gel Nimbus has a drop of 8mm and the stack height is 41.5mm at the heel, whereas the More V4 has a drop of 4mm with a stack height of 34mm at the heel. The Gel Nimbus 25 is a big change for the Gel Nimbus line, becoming a max cushion shoe, whereas the previous versions were more like cushion daily trainers with lower stack heights. You know, this is a very much a max stack shoe these days. It's got a stretchy and soft knitted upper, which is also an update on the previous version of the shoe with loads of padding on the inside there to wrap your foot very comfortably. You've got an FF Blast Plus midsole with some with a pure gel uh, section that sits just below the uh, heel. In general, the material used is softer and lighter than on past versions of the gel nimbus and asics has chucked a load more in there it's got 20 percent more foam than previous versions of the gel nimbus then you've got an ahar rubber outsole where the rear section is made from a slightly firmer rubber compound than the front fair bit of exposed foam there but all the key impact areas are covered the more v4 has an engineered mesh upper pretty standard job with a normal tongue and lots of padding around the heel and tongue again as you'd expect from a cushion shoe like this you've got this towering fresh foam x midsole with big high sidewalls so your foot sits right inside it so even though the stack looks enormous here even compared to the asics it's uh it's listed at 34 millimeters because of the way your foot sits within that foam you've got a very pronounced rocker on the midsole of the fresh foam x to create a nice smooth transition from heel to toe on your easy runs and that's also aided by this groove cut down the middle of the heel of the shoe. The rubber outsole has pretty good coverage again. There is some exposed foam like on the ASICs, but none of the key impact areas are left uncovered and this rubber has proved very hard wearing and gripped well for me so far. So fit for me, I would go true to size in both of these shoes. I think personally, I prefer the fit of the ASICS Gel Nimbus 25. I think all the changes ASICS has made from the previous Nimbus, I think makes this a more comfortable shoe to kind of slip into ultimately and run in. Um, with the more V4, again, comfort is a priority here. I think you're getting a good amount of space up front of the toes. I think you're getting a little bit more of a hold at the midfoot here in comparison to the Nimbus 25. And you're getting a you know ample amount of padding at the heel as well to make sure you've got that support and kind of extra kind of comfort there at the heel as well too but yeah i would go to size based on my testing of both of these shoes the fit for me in the gel nimbus 25 is true to size no issues at all but i did have a little bit of space in the heel section didn't affect me on the run um, but i did notice there was a bit of space there the fit for me in the new balance more v4 True to size, no issues at all. Both of these shoes uh, have fit me very well, true to size. I think there's a little bit more room in the toe box of the ASICS Gel Nimbus 25, but I think it's a really nice fit, especially for the easy and long runs you're mainly going to be using these shoes for, and I've had no problems with lockdown around the heel or midfoot. So yeah, all good, true to size. So you've got two max cushion shoes here that are designed to do the same job, which is protect your body and help you cruise through easy and long runs in you know, complete comfort, uh, but they do it in a very different way. So the More V4 has a very smooth ride and really the notes, the biggest characteristic of it is how pronounced that rocker is. That once you're in sync with it, it really does allow you to flow along on those easy runs. And despite being a very large shoe, it does disappear on the foot quite well as a result. It just, you just tick over. If you don't look down and notice this massive chunk of foam, you could feel your, it does feel like you're wearing a much lighter, more nimble shoe. And it is really comfortable for runs of any length. It just protects the body nicely and just doesn't get in the way. The foam itself is not the most exciting or dynamic foam in the world. It's quite a dull ride, in fact. But the way the geometry is shaped means that really you don't notice it that much when you're running easy in the shoe it's, it's the rocker that really comes into play just to keep you ticking along nicely that changes a bit if you do try and up your pace in the shoe this is not a very versatile shoe and when you start putting a bit more impact into that foam and try and run a bit faster 
does become more noticeable that it is a fairly dull foam and isn't giving you a lot back. So I think this is a shoe very much you reserve for your easy efforts, um, but when you're doing that in the shoe, it feels great. A lot of that is true of the Asics Gel number 25. It is a shoe that's not that versatile. It's great for easy efforts, but the ride is quite different. It's softer than New Balance, and I think you're getting a little bit more response and bounce from the foam. It's, it's not an all-out squishy and bouncy shoe like the Nike Invincible, but it does give you a little bit more back, whilst also having a bit of a rocker itself and a fairly uh, effortless ride as well when you're ticking along at those easy paces. First run in the shoe, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but since then, it's really grown on me, and, and going to it on a Sunday at the end of a long week of training for your long run um, just feels really nice. It protects your leg nicely, it helps you tick over, it's got a pretty smooth ride, a pretty soft ride, a very balanced ride in general, I'd say. The foam does give you a bit more back if you try and push the pace than the New Balance, but it's still not really a versatile shoe. This is one for your easy runs, and it does a very good job of that. The you know, other concern I had with it after the first run was that the outsole grip was a bit slick at times. It has got better. It has been fine for me on any kind of road running, really, on you know wet pavements and that kind of thing, but I do think you actually get slightly better grip from the New Balance more V4 but it's not a huge concern with the Asics. So overall, they're two shoes that I've really enjoyed running easy in, and great for long runs in particular. It's more just a difference in their ride feel that I think uh, separates them. So the run test for me in these two shoes, I've done quite a lot of miles in the New Balance Mall before. I've, I've been doing loads of training in it. It's, it's a shoe I really, really like, so I use it quite a lot for my long, slow training runs, easy day runs, all those sorts of things. The uh, Asics Gel Nippers 25, I only just got this, so I've not done as many miles in it as the other guys, so take that into consideration with my uh, points here. But um, what I would say about when I run in these two shoes is, on paper, they, or on paper and the way that they look when you take them out of the box, they do appear very similar. They're almost like an identical design in many ways. They've got a very similar shaped outsole in terms of the width of it. Uh, the upper is quite similar as well with this comfortable uh, sort of sock-like feel. And yeah, there's a lot and there's a high stack on it as well. So they are quite similar in terms of what they look like, what they feel like um, and what they're designed to do. It, you can also, if when you sort of press the midsole foam in on both of these shoes, they they feel very similar as well. It, it's, it's like it, it's almost the same foam that's been used in them. But when you're actually running them, they do feel a bit different. I'll start with the New Balance Mall V4 because uh, I've spoken a lot about the uh, Mall V4 uh, over the past uh, few weeks. It's a shoe that has a lot of cushioning in, but that cushioning is an interesting cushioning because Fresh Home X is a foam that when used in shoes like the 1080 V12, it's not a particularly soft foam. It's not a particularly bouncy foam. Um, and to be honest, in that shoe, I don't really like it very much. It doesn't really do a lot for me. It feels a little dull. It doesn't really give anything back. And I don't really enjoy running in that shoe. But just by putting more foam, that same foam in a shoe, it feels very different. And the more V4 has, it's not a soft shoe. It's not a really soft shoe like the Invincible where it really squishes when you're running it and then gives you a bit of that energy return. It's more balanced. It, it sort of sits in the middle. It's not, it's not firm. It's not really soft. It's just a very nice, comfortable foam to run in. I feel like there is a little bit of a, a, a squish in it when you when you're running it, but not too much. I also think there's a, there's a little bit of energy return in as well, but because it's quite balanced, it doesn't necessarily lean towards either side. So I just find it to be a very comfortable shoe for a lot of different runs. And I have tried to run faster in this shoe, and it's I've quite liked it, but it's it, it's not designed for that. Um, it really comes into its own for those daily miles and those long runs where you just want something that's just gonna cradle the foot every time you land on the ground with nice semi-soft feeling that just pops you back over. There's a nice rolling feeling to it as well. And that base is really wide. So however you land, it just feels like it's very comfortable and very enjoyable. Um, so I think the New Balance Movie 4 is a great balanced cushion shoe that sits right in the middle of cushion shoes that are out there at the moment or max cushion shoes that are out there at the moment. Now, the Gel Nimbus 25 is an interesting one because I, had, I hadn't tried the 24, but I did use the 23 quite a bit. And back then, it was a very different shoe. And I always get annoyed when running shoe brands use the same names for shoes when essentially they've, com they've almost completely redesigned the shoe. The Nimbus 25 is, is not the same sort of shoe as the previous Nimbus versions. It does it looks nothing like it. It uses loads of new materials. And it sort of changed in a way as well. When I was running in the 23, it was a, a bit more versatile. Um, and it was a shoe that sort of ticked a lot of boxes for runners. It was one of those shoes that you could go and buy and it would pretty much be good for all your training especially for beginning you wanted something that you you do early miles in but also you could probably do a little bit more in it over time uh, the nimbus is 
a max cushion shoe. It's gone from being something that's probably a bit more versatile to something that is that's really cushioned, like the New Balance more V4. Most shoes seem to just put in more cushioning on all the time. Um, but the Nimbus 25, I would have expected it to feel like the more V4 when I ran in it because of the way that it looks, because of the way that it feels. But it is actually a bit firmer. Um, and I'd also say a little bit stiffer as well. So it's not the stiffest shoe in the world, but when compared to the New Balance more V4, there just seems to be a little bit more rigidity to this shoe. And you can kind of feel that on the run. It doesn't squish at all for me it is there's a little bit of cushioning in it but not too much and as a result it's probably a little bit more responsive than new balance more v4 um, and i enjoyed running it um like the, the runs that i did in it it just felt good i did a, a couple of recovery runs in it and then something that was a little bit longer and a little bit faster but it it felt fine on those runs it just didn't feel there was nothing i could really pick out about this shoe that i thought was really impressive that's not a bad thing it's a balanced shoe it probably works for everyone and i think that's what the nimbus range is designed for it's a shoe that is meant to have widespread appeal um but for me it just doesn't have anything that really sticks out about it it's just a good solid max cushion shoe that does the job and will have you happy for many many miles of training runs i'd also say that i think the more v4 is a more efficient fluid running shoe I feel like is a nicer turnover in this shoe so when I go out and do a long run in the shoe it just feels like I can keep going for a while the, Nim the Nimbus is fine for that but I it just doesn't feel like it's really benefiting me in any way I didn't feel a nice rolling action in it a rocker action in it um, so yeah I definitely say the more before is better for that and I that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy training in this shoe uh, other things about them both is that I really like the uppers on both of these shoes I think they're, they're, they're really good. They're really comfortable. They really hold the feet nicely. They're quite plush. Um, and that's one of the nicest things about Nimbus, actually. It's such a comfortable shoe that once you put it on, you really just think, this is this is fantastic. I imagine it's probably a good shoe for people who maybe don't even run and they just want a nice, comfortable walking shoe uh, for doing, just you know hanging out in. It's quite a nice looking shoe as well. Same for the Moore V3. It is a very comfortable shoe once you put it on and um, it's well worth looking at if that's your focus when it comes to running. Into that run test, how do these two shoes run? Well, ultimately, I do think they're designed for the same types of runs, whereas the Gel Nimbus 24 was definitely a more versatile shoe that you could potentially run a little bit quicker in, but ultimately you wanted to run mainly your slower runs or kind of more comfortable, easy runs in. The Gel Nimbus 25 is definitely just built for those kind of slow, easy runs. It's the same story with the more v4 but i think the experience of using these shoes definitely do differ i think with the nimbus 25 i personally feel like it feels a little bit more plush in terms of that cushioning and what you're getting on the more v4 you know they feel like bigger shoes and ultimately i felt that uh, running it in these two shoes i felt like you could run comfortably and longer in both of these shoes but i noticed the heaviness in the more v4 more but i what i would say I think the more V4 has in its favour as I think the the rocker and the ride in this feels a little bit more pronounced and I think if you, you know you kind of are up on your toes a little bit more in the shoe where I think with the Nimbus 25 it you know the ride feels a little bit, bit smooth but it feels a little bit flatter in comparison compare in terms of uh, kind of my running in that shoe so I think ultimately, you know, you, you, these are not versatile shoes and they're not shoes that I would choose to run kind of tempo style runs in, run a little bit quicker, run speed sessions. They're just not built for that. They're too heavy. I don't think the level of um, the types of foam and the level of foam that you're getting here and the, and the midsoles kind of lend themselves to kind of running quicker in anyway. But I think in terms of the rides, I think the ride feels a little bit nicer and smoother for me personally in the more V4. As I think with the um, Nimbus 25 I think the cushioning for me personally feels a little bit more plush even though you know the, the kind of stacks are not quite the same there in terms of what you're getting here is definitely more on the more v4 and again yeah I think I felt the weight more on the more v4 now in terms of outsoles I think personally I think you're going to get a little bit more durability out of the more v4 one it's kind of a similar looking out so what uh, New Balance uses on these kind of 860 um, v13 shoes as well which i've really liked and i think you're getting a similar level of kind of grip and traction i think probably the grip i think overall probably a little bit better on the more v4 but i don't think it's a massive amount in it i think dry and wet conditions they're going to handle pretty well but i would probably prefer running kind of in wetter conditions in the more v4 in terms of the level of grip and where those kind of key areas and the kind of raised areas in the outsole are but ultimately in terms of my run test i think you know in terms of the runs these shoes are designed for, I think they do excel on that front. 
I personally prefer running those kind of slower, easier, more comfortable, longer runs in the Nimbus 25 because I know they sort of, I, I prefer the feeling of that midsole and the midsole foam in the Nimbus 25 compared to the um, fresh foam um, foam you're getting in the more V4. Um, but I think the ride feels a little bit more, you know, interesting, I would say, on the more V4 comparison to the Nimbus 25. But in terms of being shoes to run long and easy and, you know, having that level of comfort that you'd want from those kind of runs, then these are both kind of standout options um, based on my testing. So my verdict on these two shoes is that they are very similar in many ways. I just think that the New Balance More V4 is a little bit more enjoyable to run in. It's a little bit softer and I just think it's got a nicer fluid movement when you when you go running in it. I think it's just a little bit more uh, about this shoe, if you excuse the pun. Um, and I, I, really, I just find it to be such an enjoyable shoe. I reach for this shoe all the time because it I, I can feel the benefits of that foam and the the, the the build of the shoe that just works for my running. I, re I really like it. I like the balanced feel and I like a little bit of softness uh, in the shoe. The Gel Nimbus 25, I also like it. Uh, I just don't think it's a particularly exciting shoe. I think it's a lot better than the previous ones for me. I really like Max Cushion shoes and it does the job for me. Um, I think it's a, a good improvement and definitely you're not going to be disappointed in the Gel Nimbus. 25 you get it for longer runs training runs uh, recovery runs all those sorts of things but the big thing for me is when it comes down to price the gel Nimbus 25 is 175 pounds the new pounds more v4 is 140 pounds and that pretty much makes the decision for me straight away i i, I would have gone for the new balance more v4 if they were the same price that's very expensive for a training shoe uh, i i know running shoes are getting more and more expensive now but for a, a daily comfortable training shoe that really doesn't deliver any sort of amazing benefits that's very expensive i mean i still think 140 pounds is quite expensive for a shoe but uh, 170 pounds just seems to to be going way out there um so yeah i definitely go for the new balance more v4 for for value cost and just in general i think it's a better shoe my verdict in the asics gel nimbus 25 against the new balance fresh from x more v4 is that first and foremost these are two standout max cushion shoes and if you're looking for running shoes that prioritize comfort particularly over longer distances then these are two of the best options now personally if i had to pick between these two shoes for those types of runs i would go for the asics gel nimbus 25 and i'd put that down to a few things I think the first thing being that I love the way this upper kind of feels um, and what Asics has done on that front. And I think, you know, it's built for that kind of comfort. Um, I think also prefer the kind of feeling of the midsole on this shoe as well. I think it's a level of plushness that I like and I'd want on those longer runs as well. We're getting a nice smooth ride as well. I think the main thing for me is that I don't find this as heavy to run in compared to the... Um, more v4 i think you know they're not light shoes anyway uh, by any stretch of the imagination but i do feel like i feel more comfortable running in this shoe and the level of weight that you're getting on the shoe in comparison comparison to the more v4 now with the more v4 i'd say you're still getting a really comfortable shoe here i think the level of cushioning the protection you're getting at those longer distances are really strong as well I think the the rocker and the ride that you're getting on the Morphe 4 is a lot nicer um, than I would say on the um, Nimbus 25. And I think you're getting a better, more durable outsole, I would say, on this shoe as well. So I think there's reasons to go for the Morphe 4 over the Nimbus 25. But personally, if it was me picking, I would go for the gel Nimbus 25 for the reasons I outlined. Both, as I said, very good max cushion shoes built well for those kind of easy longer runs that, you know where comfort is a priority but i yeah i would go for nimbus 25 over the more v4 picking between these shoes for me is a case of picking what you want uh, in terms of the ride feel of your max cushioned daily trainer you've got the very smooth uh, slightly firmer feel of the new balance more v4 which just rolls through very nicely and if you're in sync with it, it feels fantastic uh, or you've got the asics gel nimbus 25 which has a slightly softer slightly bouncier feel really luxurious comfortable feel underfoot and with a little bit of a rocker as well it's more of a balanced ride slightly more traditional feel but they both achieve the same purpose in protecting the body very well on those long runs. One thing to think about is the price, obviously. The Morvi 4 is a fair bit cheaper than the Asics, and I like them pretty much equally for those long runs, so I would go for the Morvi 4 on that basis. But 
In terms of the one I'd recommend if money was no object, I'd probably lean towards the Nimbus 25. I think it has the slightly more enjoyable ride as a fairly traditional ride as well that I think will work for pretty much anyone. Whereas I've gotten very well with them all before and I know Tom has and other run testers have, but if you don't get into sync with that rocker, I think it can feel quite dull and blocky because the, the foam isn't as dynamic and responsive as the uh, FF Blast Plus on the Asics. And I think in terms of versatility, although neither are versatile shoes, if you're a newer runner who wants a very cushioned shoe to do all your running in, I think the Nimbus is better for that. It does have a little bit more about it if you do up the pace. Whereas I do think that the more before really just sits in, in that very cushioned, easy and long run category um, and doesn't really give you a lot back if you do try and up the pace. They're both good shoes. Uh, in terms of which one I'd have in my rotation, I'd probably just plump for the more before purely on the basis that it's cheaper. But then if you're just looking at performance, I think the Nimbus 25 is a slightly more rounded shoe.